Welcome to Romeo Mass and Science class. Today we want to look at the topic logarithm. Now let us look at the definition of log. Now by the definition of log, if I have log of a number x to base b equal to a, from the definition of log we can say that this base here will raise to the power our a to produce the x. So we can say x equal to b raised to the power a. Now let us look at how we can use this definition to simplify log 64 base 8. Now if you have been asked to simplify log 64 base 8, what you first of all do is that you equate it to any variable of your choice. Let's say y. Then after that, you use your base here to raise to the power the y so that you have 64 equal to 8 raised to the power y you apply some small indices here because this is 8 raised to the power y you also break the 64 so that you can have a common base and that will be 8 raised to the power 2 equal to 8 raised to the power y therefore we can say y equal to what 2 therefore we can conclude that log 64 base 8 is equal to 2. So this is how we can use the definition of log to simplify this. Let us move on to the laws. The laws of logarithm. Alright? The laws of logarithm. Now let us look at law 1. If I have, let's say, log x base a plus log y base a now log of the same base all right adding what do you do to the numbers here you are going to multiply so it will give you log x multiplying y base a let us look at example let's say i have log 2 base 10 plus log 3 base 10 I'm going to produce log 2 times 3 base 10. And we can simplify this as log 6 base 10. Now, let us look at the second one. If I have log x base a minus log y base a will be equal to what? Now, log of the same base which are subtracting, you are going to divide the numbers. So I have x divided by y base a. I can have an example, log 12 base 10 minus log 3 base 10. From the law, I'm going to have log 12 over 3 all right, base 10. And I can simplify this as 12 divided by 3 will give us 4. So log 4, base 10. Let us look at the third law. If I have log A raised to the power X, base B is the same as X log a base b so an example is that i can have let's say log 5 raised to the power 2 base 10 and it's going to give me 2 log 5 base 10 or i can have 2 here log 3 base let's say five okay and this is equivalent to log three raised to the power two base five which i can simplify this as log nine base five so these are the laws of log that we can have let us look at the properties okay the properties the properties of log of logarithm. Now, 
if you have log of any number to the base of the same number is equal to 1. So log y base y is 1. If I have log 10 base 10 is equal to 1. Now let us look at property number 2. Now log 1 to any base is equal to 0. So if I have log 1 base 50, the answer is 0. So these are some few properties of log that we can have. Now, let's see how we can combine log 1 and 2 to simplify a question like, let's say I have log 2 base 10, all right, um, minus, minus log, log 3 base 10, plus log 6 base 10. Now, if you have been asked to simplify this, you can go straight and say that log into bracket, this and this are subtracting. So you divide, 2 divided by 3, all right? And the product is adding. And adding, you multiply. So we say by what? 6. So this is how we can simplify this. Then you can proceed. This tray will go into 6, which will be 2. All right? And 2 times 2 will give us 4. So we are going to have log 4 base 10. Another example is that I can have 2 here, log 2 base 10. All right? Plus 3 here, log, um, let's say log 2 log 2 base 10 minus log 8 base 10. Now, what can we do? The third law that we study, we can say that log 2 raised to the power 2 base 10 plus log 3 raised to the power, log 2 raised to the power 3 base 10 minus log 8 base 10. Then we can proceed by saying that four, log 4 base 10 plus log 9 base log 8 base 10 minus log 8 base 10. All right? So we can proceed and have this. That is 4 times 8. All right? all over what base 10 and finally we can say that this will nullify this so we can have log for base 10 so this is how we can simplify these questions using the laws and properties of log now watch out for part two of this topic where we are going to use these laws and properties to solve critical questions. Thank you. Properties and the laws that we study use it to simplify these questions on the board. In our next video, we are going to learn how to simplify some of these questions. Thank you. Don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.